Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Legend of Legaia for the Sony PlayStation. This is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, this is one of the games that was requested in the Christmas special, like, back in December. And I'm only getting around to playing it now. I've only played through some of it, but not very far, just to see what the game is like. Now, most of this LP is going to be blind. However, I don't want any hints unless I ask for them. Because, you know, I like to figure this stuff out on my own, in my own time. If I really need some help, I'll find a guide, or I can ask one of you guys. It's that simple. But from what I heard, it's a really good RPG. It's kind of foggy over here. Oh, nice graphics. I have blue hair, therefore I am automatically a hero. I don't have boobs, but at least I'm useful. Why am I even here? Yeah, at least the monsters look pretty cool and demonic. Looks like all three of these fighters have something attached to their arms or their hands that makes them quite formidable in battle. This one looks thunder elemental. Screams earthquakes. Maybe it's that guy's brute strength. Looks like he has some kind of magic gauntlet of his own, that guy. What's this? It's so pretty. Ah, so that's where the guys from Assassin's Creed got it. It's not exactly a hidden blade, but close enough. So let's start a new game, shall we? God created the heavens, the earth, and the seas. After creating all things in the universe, God created humans to rule over this world. Yet while possessing the wisdom of God, humans were physically weaker than the wild beasts and impulsive in spirit. Many times did the humans come close to dying out forever. Concerned about the humans' future, God, for which for some reason was in small g, gave them a mighty force with which to aid them. It was the Seru. Since the dawn of human memory, known as history, humans lived together with creatures known as Seru. The Seru lived together with humans, always obeying them, and making the humans many times stronger than before. When not worn by a human, a Seru looks much like a stone figure. However... However... what? Upon touching a human, a Seru changes form and gives that human secret abilities. With a Seru, a human can lift objects heavier than itself and even fly in the air at will. Oh my god, that text moved a little bit faster than expected. However, that era came to an end. Da -da -da. Appearing from out of nowhere, the mist covered the land, bringing to an end prosperous symbiosis between humans and Seru. After the thick mist came, the Seru, who once obeyed humans, rebelled against them. The Seru began attacking humans at will. Seru that attached themselves to humans control their minds and turn them to evil beasts and pegging at women's asses too. As if forsaken by God, human civilization collapsed. It was the twilight of humanity. 
Those who escaped the mist inhabited the desolate areas and protected each other. Now their faint hope is the, their only source of inspiration. Looks like the mist is enveloping many parts of the land. Should be very important, considering it's turning the Seru into enemies. Well, this is a this is a village with a wall and one windmill, therefore it is special. Oh, it's got a beach too. Oh, we're getting a character introduction. Oh, his name is Vaughn. Uh, I think I'll just go with that. I don't feel like creating new names. You name me Vaughn, therefore I must do a pose! And walk over there. I really like the music in this game. They did a good job with it. Try hopping that tree again with his mind. Vaughn! I mean, Vaughn, I knew you would be here. The mysterious Genesis tree. This is a soothing place. You always liked this tree. A bit too much. Tomorrow, you will become a hunter, an adult. Were you praying for a successful hunt? Um, yeah. That is good. Then I, too, will pray for your success. Vaughn, I thought I would come here to cheer you up. But I guess that wasn't necessary. You will be a fine hunter. I'm counting on you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> that little girl's arms look weird. Vaughn, I love the Genesis tree too. Okay, to run you just have to hold X or R1. That works too. Okay, triangle goes to your menu, circle allows you to leave, and circle just here does nothing. Fun! When you go hunting outside the wall tomorrow, bring me a souvenir. Okay, L1 and X pretty much do the same thing. There's a panoramic map of Rim Elm on the blackboard. Do you want to take a close look at it? Sure. This is Rim Elm, where Vaughn lives. What part do you want to see? Uh, the memory statue. The memory statue is in this cave. Talk to it to record events during your adventure. Well, it's pretty nice of them to give you a little introduction of where you need to look. Of course, we all know that Vaughn's house is over there. This is where you live with your father, Val, and young sister, Nene. Okay, Juno and May's house. This is Juno and May's house. May is a sweet girl and a year older than Vaughn. Did we really need to know she was sweet? Most girls in video games are. Alright, so I think I should look around. Now I can explore the rest of Rim Elm. Or I was, until I got interrupted. Vaughn! I was looking for you! So you are praying at the Genesis tree. It's about the hunting clothes for you to wear tomorrow. Uh, is something wrong? I'm almost finished, but I have to check some of the measurements. So, can I measure you one more time? Sure, go ahead. Thanks, Vaughn. You're so kind. I'll be at your house waiting for you, so don't be too late. Screw that, I'll be as late as I want. It's not like it's gonna matter, it's a video game. I can be there in five seconds or five years, you'll still say the exact same thing. It's true. Oh, it's you, Vaughn. The hunters should be returning shortly, so I'm waiting here. I'm good for you, as if I really cared. Uh, Ixis. Vaughn, so I hear you're going out on the hunt tomorrow. Yes. You seem happy about it. 
You are happy about going outside the village, aren't you? There's no one here but old people and kids. It's so boring here. Uh, yeah, you tell me. Oh, Vaughn! Will you listen to what a pathetic man like me has to say? I guess. You will? I'm glad! You're such a good child, Vaughn. It's a story about something that happened many years ago, when I was out on the hunt. We caught much game. I was in high spirits, so happy that I dropped my guard. Suddenly, the wind changed direction and the mist came. I thought we would escape, but it was too late. The Seiru monsters came from the mist and attacked us. That's how I ended up like this. I survived, but can never go out on the hunt again. Now listen, Vaughn. Never underestimate the mist. The mist is a terrifying thing. Uh, you don't have to tell me. He's always complaining. He used to be strong and tough, but now... Um, the opposite? Okay, I never really looked into my status or anything. Like, I'm at 180 HP and 20 MP. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, I'm guessing like UDF and LDF. Prime means like upper defense and lower defense. Then you got speed, intelligence, and agility. Oh, I don't have any skills or magic or moves. Well, my attribute is fire, apparently. Uh, okay, I don't really care about all that. I got five healing leaves. Recovered 200 HP. That's pretty damn good. I don't even have 200 HP. Little Vaughn, you saw me crying. How embarrassing. Long ago, I had a shop here. I saw many different weapons. While I was cleaning, I began to remember those days and suddenly started to cry. Someday, if the mist clears and all the people come back, I'll be able to open my shop again. Vaughn, you must promise to shop at my store, alright? Well, is there any other store? Apparently, I have no choice. I find around here? The drawer won't open. It's locked. What a pity. Well, no good for me to shop here if I can't even open the drawer. Maybe I'll come back later. I have a feeling this shop will be available at some point. Just not yet. Hey, what's up? Ah, oh, it's you, Vaughn. What do you want from an old man like me? You want to ask me something? Yes. What do you want to ask me about? Uh, can you tell me about the Seru? The Seru? The Seru are like living armor. When one is worn by a human, it becomes both weapon and tool. With the power of a Seru, a man could carry a stone larger than himself, run faster than a wolf. But the mist brought an end to the age of benevolent Seru. The Seru became cursed, evil. Fun. Never touch a Seru. The Seru are evil. Shall I tell you about something else? Okay. Why is it about this mist that's so scary? The mist itself poses no danger to us. But when touched by the mist, the Seru become demons. Horrible, murdering monsters. In the mist, the Seru take on a will of their own and attack people. But that is not all. The person who wears a Seru as a weapon becomes possessed by Seru, and himself becomes a monster. Vaughn, tomorrow you will travel outside the wall as one of the hunters. Now listen, beware of the mist. We humans are no match for the mist or for the Seru monsters. When the mist approaches, flee! That is the only way to protect yourself from it. Uh, what is it about the wall that's such a big deal other than, well, being a wall? Real Elm is a remote village. The mist that covers the earth seldom reaches this far. Somehow, we have managed to survive. However, at night, the wind sometimes changes direction, and the mist closes in on us. To protect the village from the mist, we have built the wall. And for more than ten years, the wall has protected us. Shall I tell you about something else? Uh, no, you already told me about the three things. Fun! 
Tomorrow you go out on the hunt. Watch out for the mist. Okay, can I talk to somebody else that's gonna ask me like three different things? Fine. Since you are to leave for the hunt tomorrow, you must learn more about the mist and the Seru. I already did! Weren't you paying attention, Grandma? Even though you may not be actually my grandma. Ah, it's you, Vaughn. I'm glad you came. Tomorrow you become a hunter and must travel outside the village to hunt. I'm sure you can take care of yourself, but do be very careful. Vaughn, tomorrow you go out to hunt. Watch out for the mist. Wow, the villagers here are like broken records. They all say the exact same thing. It's like, you're gonna go out hunting, watch out for mist, blah 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 blah. In fact, pretty much every one of them says it. Hmm, maybe I should go check out the beach. I'm sure it looks very comfortable. You were a child when the mist appeared, Vaughn. But now you are ready for the hunt. Time goes by so quickly. I have taught you all the techniques of... of taught you the techniques of Baron all your life. Do not forget them while hunting outside the village. Now then. Vaughn. Do you want something today? Uh, what is it about Byron? Or Byron? I think it's Byron. Byron is a god of strength and love. Outside Rim Elm is a temple devoted to Byron. There, many warrior monks devoted to Byron practice night and day. They renounce the world's dependence on Seru and work to polish their fighting skills. Many Byron warrior monks also travel the globe to spread the noble teachings of Byron. When visiting Rim Elm, I was trapped here by the mist. I am still a faithful Byron. I feel it is my destiny to teach the young the teachings and fighting skills of Byron. What else is it, what else is it you want? Uh, tell me the secrets of fighting. <laughs> There's no shortcut to success in battle. Constant training is the only way. However, I shall teach you a little secret. Use your spirit effectively you will be unable to attack and thus be attacked. But your defensive force rises while you are accumulating spirit. That's not all. In your next turn, you will be able to inflict more attacks. This is a good strategy when fighting a formidable opponent. Well, what is it you want? Let's practice. I see. Before we practice, take this. A healing leaf, thanks. Now you are ready. Come at me! Yeah, very weird graphics there. I will show you how to fight while engaging in an actual battle. Okay, why does his neck look a bit severed on the side? Let's take a look at basic attacks, select begin. Next, select attack. Okay, you're gonna be using your D-pad a lot here. There are two attack modes, auto and command. Here, select whichever you like. In auto, your attacks are selected automatically. In command mode, you can freely combine any of your commands, right, left, high, and low. Okay, I'll select command. Next, select a combination of commands. Uh, low, right, high? Use the directional buttons, then press the X button. This isn't necessary now, since there is only one target. Now select begin, and you can press reselect if you're not very sure. Now what you just saw there was just a combo. For next is how to use items. First select begin. I can select item. Okay, so now I can select healing leaf since that's the only item I have. Okay, I'll just press X to select myself. Hit begin. And there you go. Nothing to it. Okay, now I gotta talk about spirit. Okay, now you gotta select spirit this time. Your defense increases and the attack action gauge will be longer on your next turn. Alright, let's do that. Now my AP's at 64. Last is about a hyper arts move. Okay, attack. Okay, here's select command. Okay, high, low, high. Okay, you can press X when you're done. Ah, oh, somersault. 
New arts! Stomach salt! Good! That's enough practice for today! Yes, it is. You did well! That is enough for today. Well, what is it you want? Eh, nothing. Tomorrow you leave for the outside world, where many Seru lurk. Do not be overconfident. I won't. Hey, baby, what's up? The sea carries a fresh wind. From dawn till dusk, the wind pushes back the mist. Today, though, the wind behaves strangely. I hope this is not a bad sign. Uh, it will. Now, can you get naked for me? Uh, never mind. Anyways, now that we learned a new art, and we used it at least once... Okay, Moo is right there. Okay, Somersault requires 18 AP. Up, down, up, and like, well, the third command is your finisher. And that's how it's done. We'll learn more other moves and possibly magic later as we progress. Look, Vaughn! That is the memory statue! The memory statue will remember things for you. What you feel, what you experience with your body, everything! Talk to the memory statue to save important memories. Or, well, save the game, of course. Uh, do not remove memory... Not enough free blocks! Okay, fine, I'll go to slot two. Okay, I'll just save over here. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right here, and in the next part, we'll do some more stuff around Rim Elm. I gotta get those measurements checked, too. See ya, everybody.